Well, hello. Welcome to today's vlog. I'm still in Norfolk. I'm still on my holidays. I managed to eke out one extra little trip. Uh, and today should be a good one because today I am on the hunt for the elusive Snettisham Yeti. Now I've never, oh no wait, sorry. Snettisham Jetty. <laughs> not yet, no, not Yeti, Jetty. Oh, I am on the hunt for it though. It is proving to be a bit elusive. Mainly because I didn't do my research before I came out. So I think I'm going the right way, but I'll be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure. It is windy today. It has been a rubbish day weather-wise. Rain, leaden skies, very overcast, no light. But, but, the fact it's so windy gives me some hope because the wind is coming from this direction. And if you look out there behind me, you might be able to see some little pockets of light. So if the weather gods are kind to us and that light gets blown over this way, i.e. the parting of the clouds, we might get a bit of a show on tonight. But who knows? naturalist uh, but I don't know if you can hear that in the background you probably can't because all the wind noise but there's some sort of bird there I'm gonna say it's a I'm gonna guess right it's just I don't know I don't know what it is it's, I don't know but I just I just walked right past it I think it's little chick um, and it's desperately trying to find it but there's nothing I can do to help because if I walk up and stand by its chick, it ain't gonna come anywhere near me. Oh man, that is sad. wondering whether it's not visible at high tide and I didn't even think about that and it is high tide right now so I don't know what to do what to do well okay I think I've seen the shot I'm gonna take anyway uh, not ideal it's not ideal but I'm gonna have a go at taking the shot of this boat that's out to sea there's a nice little sunbeam behind it at the moment if it stays there long enough, it might not by the time I get set up. It's not quite where I want it to be, which is annoying, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. I don't know. I'm just going to have a go and see if I can get some of this foreground of waves in with the boat on the horizon, sort of. I could dip and take it on the horizon and the light beam. I don't know. We'll have a look. I'm not going to lie. I'm finding it very difficult to take anything of any note tonight can't find this jetty. I really struggle with seascapes in terms of when there's, when there's no focal point, you know, the boat out there isn't enough of a focal point. It's a sea and sky and for me it's not enough. It's not enough to make an image.
let's be honest, it's a rubbish image. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I've got the 70 to 200 on. I'm trying to take an image of that boat out there with no interest at all other than the boat out there. A little bit of colour in the sky. It's in the wrong position. It looks god awful. It's not a good shot. Let's be honest, it isn't. It's not good. So, I can't see the point in keeping it. Oh, so still looking for this jetty. Uh, I've just spoken to a local who said that I'm the wrong end of the beach. I needed to walk further up. But also he's told me that the car park I'm in gets the gates locked at nine. It's now, I don't know, 10 past eight. So I need to get back to the car, drive out through the village. There's another parking spot. I need to park up there, walk down, and the jetty will appear before my eyes. Oh. And this is the thing, you know, this is the issue and the beauty of being a landscape photography vlogger. You know, it's the fact that it doesn't always work out, but it's about the experience. It's not just, it's not just about the image, you know? The image is important, of course it is. We all want to produce good images. I want to produce good images. But no one goes out every week and gets a fantastic image. I don't care who you are. There's always times where things go wrong or the conditions weren't right. That's what happens. You have to show the good with the bad, the rough with the smooth. You can't just put your best pictures up every so often and pretend that that's the only type of image you take because we all know that's not true. You know, it's not true. You have bad days. Anyway, I'm nearly at the car park. Hopefully, I'll see you at the jetty. <laughs> help it's absolutely miles down the beach uh, so yeah, it's a long way thank you very much local gentlemen you've been very helpful now I'm here it's well worth it I've got to say it's really fantastic big structure you know I love a bit of old decayed structure you all know that but the sky in the background is just just going a little bit red absolutely gorgeous so my first shot here I've set up I've got the, I've got a panoramic shot I'm shooting I'm just sweeping across with the uh, with the, the jetty on an angle here uh, I'm up high with the camera because I want to keep the jetty underneath the horizon line. Uh, I'm shooting a bracketed shot because I can't unfortunately get my uh, grads on so well with the, uh, with the nodal slider on. Uh, I'm still working by the way on an explanation for the nodal slider because I tried to do a video explaining how it works and it didn't work out anywhere like I thought it was going to so I'm still a bit like I'm not even really sure how this works. Anyway, um, I've taken that shot. I'm gonna take that shot now uh, and I'll show you that. So I'm so glad I actually found this place because it's completely saved the day. 
Um, this shot I'm taking is one that's just literally down the line of the jetty. I'm low so that you can see the individual, uh, I don't know, columns, I guess, where the jetty once stood. Uh, so I've had to come down lower because if I'm too high, it just looks like one block. Um, bracketing again, I've got to try, I've tried to get it as in the centre as I can because this is going to be a nice symmetrical image. The sky is really beautiful now, which is just an added bonus. Um, so yeah, it's uh, hopefully this is going to look uh, a really good shot. Yes, I'm starting to lose the light now, as you can see, but it's looking gorgeous. I just need to work out uh, maybe one more composition, one more way that I can take advantage of this jetty, uh, or even just these flats um, with, the, with the, the little bits of uh, tidal pools as they snake out, if I can maybe just turn the polarizer around, take advantage of that. There's some nice sort of heather, I think it's heather knocking about in here as well. So maybe if I can just find a piece of heather in the right position, I can maybe take a focus stack shot of the heather with some of these tidal pools, uh, turn the polarizer off if you like, stop the polarization so we can get the reflection of the sky in the pools, see how that goes. Might well be the last shot of the night. I'm gonna have to have a little look around and see if I can find something. And that's it for me. It's been an interesting day. Um, the lesson in this is always make sure you research before you come out. Uh, could have been an absolute disaster. Turned out okay. Again, um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, you know, I've, uh, I do my best. I do my absolute best. I'm by no means a fantastic photographer, but I do my absolute best for myself and for you guys. And I hope that you appreciate that uh, because that's why I do it. Um, to say really other than thank you so much for watching uh, i hope you enjoyed it if you did then all the usual applies and until the next time i will see you again soon